Hello, how are you? My name is Gustavo Cerda Sainz and I would like to explain to you five of the concepts used by the um, action-oriented approach in language teaching. Uh, the first concept that I would like to explain to you is pedagogical mediation. And the reason why I chose this concept is because it uses many of the other concepts that we are going to talk about. The, pe the pedagogical mediation is a structure, is a set or a series of elements that are organized in a specific way and that teachers must follow in order to um, activate the students as social agents. Uh, this action-oriented approach has been also adapted, been adapted by the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, which have many of the ideas in common. Um, one of the elements that I would like to explain to you is the activation of prior knowledge, which is very important in other in other uh, cases. Is it is also also called accessing and in this uh, activation of prior knowledge the idea is to activate or bring out what the students already know the the students background and knowledge in order to review what they know about the new topic that is going to be introduced the second concept would be modeling it is very important that the teachers model what they are going to teach or what they are going to ask the students to perform uh, situations like, for example, pronunciation or vocabulary has to be um, first modeled by the teachers. It is very important. Um, another element or another concept that I would like to explain is uh, tasks. Tasks are a group of acts that are set in a specific way so that the students uh, perform as social agents. Tasks are generally based on real life situations. They are relevant and they are, the idea is that they are used in meaningful um, communication situations. The um, the pedagogical mediation structure puts them in a specific order like pre-task, um, pre-task, task rehearsal, task completion, and task assessment. And as a continuation of those tasks, we also have the post-task. Then we, uh, we have another concept called goals. Goals are seen also as a group of uh, activities, tasks, projects that are done and completed but not completely finished. And then finally we have assessment. The action-oriented approach, as according to the action-oriented assess approach, assessment is based on what the social agent is able to do in real life situations. In this case, the teacher's task is to assess what the students can perform as social agents in any everyday situation of the life. Thank you so much.